Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of exponents and radicals, we shall take up solved questions related to laws of exponents. In our previous video, we have already discussed these laws in detail. Let us just recapitulate them one by one. The first law is product of powers which says x raised to power a into x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a plus b. That means whenever the two exponents are multiplied, we add the powers. The second law is quotient of powers which says x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b. So whenever we have to divide the exponents, we subtract the powers. Now the third law is power of power that is x raised to power a and whole raised to power b is equal to x raised to power ab. That means we multiply the powers. The fourth law is power of product that means when we have two pro numbers multiplied together and raised to power a, we distribute a between them like x, x into y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a into y raised to power a. Now, fifth law is power of quotient. It is x upon y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a. Now, the sixth law is negative exponent which says x raised to power minus m by n is equal to 1 upon x raised to power m by n. So, if we have to convert the negative exponent into positive, we just have to reciprocate the base. Now we come to the seventh law that is identity exponent which is x raised to power 1 is equal to x. That means whenever any number is raised to power 1, it is the number itself. Now eighth law is zero exponent that is x raised to power 0 is equal to 1 which says that any number raised to power 0 is 1. Now let's take up solved questions based on laws of exponent. Question 1. Find the value of. The first part is 216 raised to power 2 by 3 and whole raised to power half. Now 216 is 6 cube. So we shall write 6 cube into 2 by 3 and whole raised to power half. Now 3 and 3 will get cancelled and we will write 6 square whole raised to power half. Now this is power into power. So we shall write 6 square into 1 by 2 which is equal to 6. Now let's take up second part. 27 raised to power minus 2 by 3 into 81 raised to power 5 by 4 upon 1 by 3 raised to power minus 3. Now first of all 27 is 3 cube. So we shall write 3 cube raised to power minus 2 by 3. Now 81 is 3 raised to power 4 so we shall write 3 raised to power 4 further raised to power 5 by 4. Now in the denominator we have a negative exponent which we will make positive by just reciprocating the base. So 1 by 3 raised to power minus 3 will become 3 cube. Now further 3 and 3 will get cancelled in the first bracket and 4 and 4 will get cancelled in the second bracket and we will write 3 uh, raised to power minus 2 into 3 raised to power 5 upon 3 cube. Now we shall apply the laws. Whenever the exponent are multiplied, we add the powers and when it is divided, we subtract the powers. Now over here in the denominator, we have 3 cube. So we will subtract minus 3 from minus 2 plus 5. So we shall write 3 raised to power minus 2 plus 5. We have added these and we have subtracted minus 3. Now further minus 2 and minus 3 is minus 5 and plus 5. So minus 5 and plus 5 is 0. So we shall write 3 raised to power 0 which is equal to 1. Now let us move to the third question. It is given 64 raised to power half in bracket 64 raised to power half plus 1. Now 64 is 8 square so we shall write 8 square in bracket and further raised to power half then a uh, big brackets we will make and then further 64 will be written 8 square and raised to power half plus 1. Now 2 and 2 will get cancelled 
and we will write 8 in bracket 8 plus 1 which will become 9. So 8 into 9 is equal to 72. Now let's take up question number 4. It is 36 raised to power 7 by 2 minus 36 raised to power 9 by 2 upon 36 raised to power 5 by 2. Now 36 is 6 square. So we shall write 6 square in all these brackets and we shall write like this. 6 square raised to power 7 by 2 minus 6 square raised to power 9 by 2 upon 6 square raised to power 5 by 2. Now 2 and 2 will get cancelled because the powers are multiplied. We will write further 6 raised to power 7 minus 6 raised to power 9 upon 6 raised to power 5. Now over here we have to solve it by taking 6 raised to power 5 common. So what we will do is 6 raised to power 5 we, we will take common and in bracket it will come 6 raised to power 2 minus 6 raised to power 4. Now because why 6 raised to power 2 and why 6 raised to power 4 came because 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 plus 4 is 9. So if we take out 6 raised to power 5 from 7 and 9 we are left with 6 raised to power 2 and 6 raised to power 4. Now further 6 raised to power 5 is in the numerator and 6 raised to power 5 is in the denominator. So it will get cancelled and we are left with 6 square minus 6 raised to power 4. Now over here also we can take 6 square common to simplify our calculations and further in bracket we will write 1 minus 6 square. Now 6 square is 36 so we will write 36 in bracket 1 minus 36. Now 1 minus 36 is minus 35. So 36 into minus 35 is equal to minus 1260. Now let's take up question number 5. 4 into 81 raised to power minus half in bracket 81 raised to power half plus 81 raised to power 3 by 2. Now 81 is 9 square. So what we will do is instead of 81 we will write 9 square. So we will solve like this 4 into 9 square uh, into minus half in bracket 9 square raised to power half plus 9 square raised to power 3 by 2. Now if you observe we can cancel 2 by 2 in the first bracket and in the big brackets again 2 by 2 and 2 by 2 will get cancelled. So we can write 4 into 9 raised to power minus 1 in bracket 9 plus 9 cube. Now further 9 cube is 729. So we can further solve, uh, solve and write 4 upon 9 into in bracket 9 plus 729 which is uh, 9 plus 729 is 738. So 4 upon 9 into 738 which is equal to 328. So this is how we have solved Question number one, uh, five parts we have solved based on laws of exponent. Now let's further move to question number two. It has four parts and each part has decimal involved in it which we have to evaluate using laws of exponent. So let's get started. Question number one is 6.25 raised to power 3 by 2. Now 6.25 if we ignore the decimal it is 625. 60, 625 is a square uh, of 25 so and there are two decimal places so we can say it is square of 2.5 now we can write 2.5 square further whole raised to power 3 by 2 now when we, whenever we have two powers in one inside and outside we multiply it so we will further write 2.5 raised to power 2 into 3 by 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we'll get 2.5 cube which is equal to 15.625. Now let's take up question number 2. We have in bracket 0.03125 raised to power minus 2 by 5. Now if it doesn't strike us that it is 3125 is actually uh, 5 raised to power 5. So what we can do is we can simply remove the decimal first and then try to solve it stepwise. So we can write 3125 upon 1 lakh that is 5 zeros we will write because of 5 decimal places raised to power minus 2 by 5. Now 3125 is 5 raised to power 5 upon 10 raised to power 5 further whole raised to power minus 2 by 5. Now 
we know that according to the fifth law power of quotient that is x upon y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a we can have a distributive property of a between x and y so here also we shall what uh, it is already distributed 5 is distributed for 5 and 10 so now we can club them together and we can write 5 by 10 whole raised to power 5 into minus 2 by 5 which is already outside so further 5 and 5 will get cancelled and we will we are left with uh, half because 5 and 10 will also get cancelled and half raised to power minus 2 now it's a negative exponent we have to make it positive so we will just reciprocate the base and we will write uh, half as 2 so it will become 2 raised to power 2 that is 2 square which is equal to 4. Now let us take up question number 3. It is given in bracket 0 0.008 raised to power 2 by 3. Now either we can solve directly we know that 0 0.008 is actually 0 0.2 cube or further if we don't uh, know the decimal how to solve it how to solve a square number or cube number we can just remove the decimals and then solve it so we can write 8 upon 1000 raised to power 2 by 3 now 8 we know it is 2 cube and 1000 is 10 cube so we shall write 2 cube upon 10 cube raised to power 2 by 3 now we shall apply the power of quotient and we shall write 2 upon 10 whole raised to power 3 into 2 by 3 now 3 and 3 will get cancelled and 2 by 10 is actually 0 0.2. So we shall write 0 0.2 square which is equal to 0 0.04. Now let us take question number 4. It is given in bracket 0 0.000064 raised to power 5 by 6. That means 4 zeros are there plus 64. That means 6 decimal places are there in it. Now 64, we can remove the uh, decimal and we will write 64 upon 10 raised to power 6, raised to power further uh, 5 by 6. Now 64, we know it is 2 raised to power 6 and uh, 10 raised to power 6 we have already written because of the 6 decimal places and further whole raised to power 5 by 6. Now 2 raised to power 6 and 10 raised to power 6 we shall apply over here power of question and we will write 2 upon 10 raised to power whole 6 into 5 by 6. Now 6 and 6 will get cancelled and 2 by 10 is 0 0.2. So we are left with in bracket 0 0.2 raised to power 5. Now this 0 0.2 raised to power 5 if we can write 0 0.00032. 2 raised to power 5 is 32 and we have to use 5 decimal places so we will write 0 0.00032. So hope you have understood all these questions based on laws of exponent. Thank you everyone.